thought about my street survival uh, preparation ideas. I've thought how it might make some people think, particularly at this at Christmas time. You might be thinking, how can I help somebody homeless when it's cold out? Should I just give them a few bucks, a few pounds, whatever? The answer is no. If you give somebody homeless, and it's sad to say, but in 99.9% .9 of all homeless people, they will either have an alcohol or drug problem. This is purely to make their lives better. It is pathetic that the world's like that, but it is. There's a famous saying, give a man to fish, he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish, he'll feed his family forever. However, if you really want to help a homeless, get a group of like-minded people in your community, contact the stores, contact everybody who you can, start up your own charity, and this charity would just be something simple, like buying a large van, buying boilers, providing at least one hot meal a day for them, for the homeless, advertising it, not just in papers, but flyers, give them to homeless people, so all homeless know of locations where the soup kitchen's going to stop, because it'll be a mobile one. Think of providing long-term assistance, not a short-term fix. It would work out more expensive in the long run. But, particularly in America, if you did something like this, got it off the ground, all donations for the vehicle, for food to prepare, etc, 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 would be tax deductible. Supermarkets have no end of food, but they have to bin at the end of every day. And they do bin so much. Contact Walmart. Ask them to donate close if they're willing to donate close to date tins of soup, vegetables, to help you make fresh soup, meat, anything. If you do something like this, you can provide homeless with one good hot meal. If you give them a few bucks, for most, it'll end up in the stomachs in a form of alcohol. Even better, if you can set up a, get it done for a cafe, food store, where things are so ridiculously cheap to help not just the homeless, but those families struggling on benefits. In short, dollars in the pocket can be blown, but a long term service will help save lives, it'll help improve lives, because the longer you run it, 
the more you'll get to know people who use your service, the more you'll be able to help them, help them get over their problems, help them find help they need. Service like a soup kitchen isn't just about the food, it's about being there, caring. Now, in England these have started to become quite common. The mobile food, her kitchens, all the foods prepared separately, stored in insulated material to keep it hot, such as thermos flasks, styrofoam. But there's also things arranged on the side drop-in centres. I'm not saying take the homeless into your own home. I'm saying give them centres where with a, a rental fee what you arrange with the centres owner. Even arranging it as a tax deductible with the centres owner it would be even better. But where you can get a couple of hours a day where the homeless can be off the street talking to people, getting advice, helping them back, particularly with younger homeless, before they end up institutionalised the streets, before they can't sleep with their eyes closed, before their awareness is so sharp that the slightest noise wakes them up ready to fight for no better word. Life on the streets hard. You, it's something you, I wouldn't wish on anybody. So just if you've seen them and it's made you think I'd like to try and help. Try and help like that. The long term not the short fix. The short fix never works because it ends up as a fix of alcohol or drugs. So long term, gentle approach is the only way to go on homelessness. At the outside, empty land. And this is a very long term one. teach the homeless skills, have them work, building their own property. Now, there's a lot of land what is unsuitable, however, there's other land what would be very suitable once all projects completed and it'd be a very big tax write off for however much land it was just long term thoughts just other thoughts what work even if you the work what you put in brought in enough buying, say, a tower block in the middle, well not a t an apartment complex, in the middle of the town, getting workers in for part of it, voluntary workers that is, but having the homeless working alongside them, making it into a long term shelter, an apartment complex would provide a lot of rooms. And if the homeless themselves are running it through assistance from from the uh, people who form the charity, it would see to itself over time. 
people need a way to be proud of what they have long term so find ways how you can help but help them help themselves just a little Christmas message from me and a less emotional one than last night I've been there, I've seen it I'm not in ideal now but I'm warm I'm happy and healthy Have a great Christmas, for the rest of your Christmas, and the best of New Year's. May the very, very best of 2011 be the lowest point you ever experience in 2012. Thanks for your time, and see you later.